GoXLR is an incredible streaming device because it makes managing audio tracks incredibly easy. One of the limitations or perceived limitations of GoXLR though is that it doesn't support multi-track recording. In fact, in most cases, it does. So a lot of creators, especially uh, creators who create VOD content for YouTube and such later on, will want to have separate tracks for their different sources. So maybe one for their microphone, one for their game, one for their friends and voice chat, and one for their music. Well, GoXLR combines everything into one for your broadcast stream mix, that doesn't mean that that's all you have to work with when you're doing post-production later on. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video today. So I'm opened up in OBS right now. I'm just doing a little screen capture here. And you'll notice I've got it set up exactly like we tell you to in the videos. There is one caveat to this method, and that is GoXLR does need to be plugged into the computer that you're using OBS on. So if you're on a two PC setup, GoXLR needs to be on the streaming PC in order for this to work. So right now you've got mic auxiliary audio device broadcast stream mix, just like we told you how, but you've probably, if you didn't watch the videos right away, you probably already went in and tried to add the different things manually and it didn't work out very well. And you're like, Oh, I do it this other way. Now we're actually going to go back and do that again. So what I'm going to set up today is I'm going to set up a, I want to be able to um, record my music. I want to be able to record my system and I want to be able to record my microphone. Now, in most cases, chat mic is typically just your microphone and your sampler. I'm fine with keeping that on the same track, but you can absolutely add sampler as another desktop audio device and uncheck sampler in the voice chat out row in GoXLR. So this is all based off of the routing table here, what shows out voice chat out as chat mic, broadcast stream mix is broadcast stream mix. And then you have music game system and uh, samples, just like the devices that we created for you. So what you'll notice now is I've got all four channels playing. Mic aux is still broadcast stream mix. Mic aux two is chat mic. So those are virtually the same right now because I'm only sending my microphone to you guys right now. However, on desktop audio, I have music playing from Spotify and desktop audio too is my system audio and I have a Twitch stream open for that one. So the cool thing about GoXLR and how it captures individual stems is even though I have it muted on GoXLR, it's actually capturing them at full volume. This is great for post-production because you can set the volume to whatever you want without any weird audio degradation. If you recorded it at a low volume and you try to boost it up, you can run into some clipping issues. You can run into some distortion issues. And on the other side, if you record it too loud and it's already uh, clipping and distorting, even if you bring it down, it can get kind of uh, gross and nasty. So this makes it really nice because not only do you have your mixed mix that you have with broadcast stream mix, you also have the individual stems recorded at full volume for post-production later on. So we've added these four sources in there, but the problem is, is that if I actually hit and start streaming, I am going to be sending all of this audio times three in some cases, and it's uh, not going to be pretty. So we need to make sure that we tell OBS to record the certain, the right tracks and to stream the right tracks. So how you do that is if you hop into file settings in OBS, hop down to output, in the streaming tab, make sure you set audio track one to what's being streamed. That way, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put audio track one is gonna be broadcast stream mix, and these other channels, two through six, are going to be system, music, chat mic, etc. In the recording tab, you have a choice of what audio tracks you want to record. I'm going to select all six. I want them to record all six of my tracks. The recording format in this scenario doesn't matter. So you can just keep it as is. I hit apply. 
And now what I need to do is I need to tell OBS what tracks I want things recorded on. So to do that, you can click on the cog wheel in the OBS audio mixer anywhere and go to the advanced audio properties. And you now have all these, by default, everything's gonna be checked one through six, just like this. So what we're gonna do, Mike Ox is our broadcast stream mix. We only want that going on channel one. So we're gonna uncheck channels two through six. Again, remember channel one is the only thing that's being sent to the stream. So we don't want desktop audio. So we don't want our music or the Twitch stream that we're watching right now to go to the stream, but we do want it recorded later on. And I also don't want my chat mic being sent to the stream because I'm already setting broadcast stream mix, which already has my microphone. So then what we'll do is let's make chat mic number two. Let's go ahead and add, let's go ahead and put desktop audio on track three and desktop audio two on track four. So that's music on track three, desktop audio on track four. So at this point, when we hit record, OBS is going to record four different tracks for each of the four different sources. Just how we explained while only sending track one to the stream. There is one other thing I wanted to touch on, and that's if you have a capture card uh, for, for a physical input. So for console streamers, you're going to want, you're not going to have game onto a particular uh, fader here because it's a physical input, so it doesn't actually enumerate via the USB inputs and outputs that you can use with audio input and output capture. So what you can do is this kind of neat. So you add your Elgato sound capture just like a normal source. And then for the audio, just make sure to set it to channels two through six. And then it's going to play that audio, but you're going to let go XLR's console line right here, the console line. You're going to let that actually send it to your stream, but then you're going to record the capture card directly in OBS for post-production later on. At this point, you can now put it into your uh, VOD workstation that, of choice that you choose to edit your videos on. I use Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, and both of those have the multiple tracks available. There are some more simple editing programs that may not support it, but those are two that will absolutely support it for you. You can then do whatever you need to in post-production so that you have the best sounding YouTube videos that you can make. This is our first and what is hopefully many more advanced classes in what GoXLR can do. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. We'd be happy to answer them for you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.